Hi guys, welcome to this Nightfall Guide. This is going to be on the Arms Dealer. I'm going to be running on Arkstrader Titan. We're going to be using the Midnight Coop. We're going to be using the Arsenic Bait and the Zenobia D Rocket Launcher. Uh, the reason I've decided to do this week the Arms Dealer is because last week or the week before I actually done the Corrupted and I done the Hollowed Layer, so it's just for variation. I will try and get a revised version of the hollowed layer and the corrupted up on the channel this week but i just wanted to put something different up for a change so we're running with arc singe heavyweight and momentum usual fare for a solo nightfall the zenobia d rocket launcher it's cluster and it has a boss spec mod on it and the arsenic bite has a minor spec so it does more damage against just garden variety ads so th this is actually the fallen version there's two versions of this straight there's the cabal version and the fallen version so a lot of arc there you, you there's a lot of arc incoming but because because of because of the strategy and where you attack from and all that type of thing it's only kind of at the start and a little bit near the end where you really have to worry about arc arc damage especially using this strategy once we get past this first open area the rest of it's going to go up until the area just before the boss the rest of it's going to go pretty quickly so the one thing i would say is you want rally barricade on because that's going to be very important for the tank uh and just just my major kind of thing for this one is keep an eye on your heavy you need full heavy when you get to the get to the end section that that's 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 from starting off that's kind of what you need now we have got heavyweight on and i do have a, a heavy finder uh perk on my helmet but sometimes i've noticed that that they're, they're not so great they don't work so great so these kind of these little vandals they can be annoying because they, of the speed that they move. It sometimes it'd be quite hard to track them with a primary. So again, it's, it's, it, for anybody that watches the videos regularly, you'll know I say this all the time. Don't try and overextend. Make sure you've got full health before you attack. And as you can see, I'm red bar there, but I'm in cover. He's running away, and now I'll get my health back using momentum. I won't engage until my health's back. So the way this kind of first part works is when you come in here, you can have a bunch of Cabal and a bunch of Fallen. At a certain point, you're going to get another wave of Fallen. Now, I think it's got a lot to do with the captains, the, the orange bars going down. But because it's so kind of, it seems pretty random to me, it might not be that. So there's the orange bar. You've got one, one Elite when you come in. You've got one elite, and now you're going to get two more elites and a major. So, as you can see, I'm 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 nearly dead, but they stopped the 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 the, the, the snipers over the other side. They they stopped zeroing in on me. So, those snipers, they can be really annoying. So my my suggestion is the minute they come up, take them down. Don't let them, don't give them free reign to be popping shots at you. Okay. So there's where we're, we're captains. So the red bars down. Take a few more. I, I just love using the bows. They're such a great addition to the game. Uh, I'm, it actually made me wonder how some of my runs in year one would have went if I'd have had a bow. Uh, but uh, anyway, dropped a lot of heavy, so we're back up to full complement. Now, I suggest that before you grab this, make sure your heavy's reloaded. Because... When I actually pull it out to use it, just before I need it, I, I pull it out and it's not—I haven't reloaded. It never done me. It never it wasn't it wasn't detrimental, but it could have been. So just make sure your heavy's reloaded before you pick that orb up. So I put a grenade on the front door just to suppress some ads, and because I've got momentum, I can just move straight past them. As you can see, now I have to reload, and put a rocket right on that doorway. You'll kill just about everything, and your grenade finishes the boss off, and that's this area done. Now, from now, so, so you're looking at what? That was, it took us four minutes to get past that first bit. And 
by the time we get to the the and it's an 11 just 11 and a half just over 11 and a half minute nightfall so from now until we finish it is going to be seven minutes it's a really good strategy uh the 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 tank section is probably the most efficient part of the strategy because once you activate the tank you're there for another 30 seconds and you're, you're gone so it's it's really good there's a well, well, good old friend the loading screen absolute nightmare <laughs> it's so strange it's just so strange to have loading screens that last that long so once you get out here i take a different route i do not go up the the ramp because it's well it's a gauntlet really i mean you can die you'll die as often as you won't die so i always go this back route jump up on this rock right across the box in front of you that's on the ramp provides cover from the ads and then get on your spiral and you're away with no kind of there's there's no threat there's no chance of you dying in there because you, you, you're in good cover so because it's the fallen version in fact it doesn't really matter for ads it might but for everything else it doesn't i always doesn't matter what version it is i always take this platform first and then i'm going to go across i'm going to activate the other console and then i'm going to jump across to the door where the dogs come out and that's why we need the rally barricade i'm going to jump across put a rally barricade down and put two i thought one rocket might have killed the the tank because we had the boss spec and it was you'll see there's just literally nothing left so rally barricade up rocket and i thought that the, i thought the cluster was going to kill kill the kill the tank but it didn't we've jumped away to proc our momentum we've hit that yellow bar because he's the trigger for getting the door open nothing left put a grenade on now we're all we're doing is we're just trying to stay out of their ways till the door opens one rocket in the doorway kills all the dogs and now you're moving forward very fast very fast so in this section as i say it's the fallen version so you're going to have two elite servitors as i said at the start of the run ammo conservation i've got two heavy left i've got two left so in this run i'm i'm really not i'm really not going to use any heavy until i've got full heavy because you need full heavy for the boss i'm not going to use any heavy on the ads the arsenic bait grenades that's all i'm really going to need so when you jump up here try and take some of these fallen you won't be able to take many of them because the server will shield them. But if you can put shots on the server, the server will go away. Uh, because because they've ran around to the front and because I love just taking stuff out with the bow, I'm going to clear this platform. Put a grenade on the server, which should deal a lot of damage to the, the, the vandal as well. And there's the server gone. It dropped heavy for me. And the vandal's got next to nothing left. Now, because I'm hunting down heavy, I didn't have to. I could have just attacked the other platform, but I've decided I'm going to take these out because it is arc burn, and they are vandals, and we all know how annoying vandals are with the tracing, tracing shots, the shots that, you know, guided shots that will chase you about. So, but you can actually, because you'll see, it, uh, uh, when we get to the actual elevator, I drop quite a bit of heavy. You'll have to excuse my voice, guys. I literally am still... I mean, that's been two weeks now of struggling with this chest infection. But like I said in the last video and the video before, I'm, I'm because you guys have showed a bit of faith in me and, you know, you guys are still watching the videos, I'm not going to stop playing to put the videos out for you guys. So apologies for the... the vo hopefully hopefully this week we'll see a, t a turning point. I, get, I never get ill. I never get ill, but when I do, it's like it's like God has rained down on me. <laughs> it lasts forever. That this wanted at the back, I started hitting him because I still need one wanted, and then I actually caught his name and was like, I have got him. I'm pretty sure I've got him. So we just go back to clearing ads. So that's all the ads cleared. What we're gonna do now? There's there's some take. There's some falling over on the the left. Uh, what we're going to do is, this is the last, you know, last guy. 
we're going to put a grenade on him. We want him to run, but we, he's come back. It's going to take his shield, and while he's up in the air, just dodge left and right, and a couple of hits with the arsenic, and he's gone. So all we've got left now is some fallen. I do find a brick of heavy underneath this ramp, which gives us full heavy, and I drop a couple of bricks. Um, that's what I'm doing now. I'm looking for bricks of heavy ammo, uh, and we do drop some some on the left. So I possibly could have finished the boss faster if if I hadn't wanted to use my super. Because I had additional heavy on the left. So as you can see, you can just just attack from range and keep yourself safe. We just noticed this brick of heavy down the side, and that's us. We're back up to we're full complement. So what we're gonna do up here is once we've cleared the ads, we're gonna go and activate the boss. Before we activate the lift, so do not activate this lift just yet. Clear out these ads. And then what we're going to do is, it's a, it's a kind of an old trick. Uh, we're going to jump up the lift. We're going to jump up the chain. And that activates the boss. So once we come back down, if we jump up to the last silver section, as you'll see, they're shaded. The silver, black, silver. Once you get past the last black section onto the silver section, that activates the boss. So when we go back down and we activate this console, that will bring another pod, another cabal pod in with enemies. Once we kill those enemies, the boss for the whole left ride will be above us. So because I've got heavy, I don't have to mess about with grenades or shooting. Fire a rocket in. Go across that heavy so we've got our six back. He will come up and start firing rockets. Now I always go to the back right. You get a better angle on him. Now you'll see here one of my rockets, you, you still get a massive hit, but I think it hit the platform. I think it's this one. I think this hits the platform. The blast, 76,500. The blast hits him, but no, none of the other, you don't get any other numbers. So put a couple of grenades on him. And if I hadn't missed my first slam, he just kind of, he, he never attacked me. He was just too close to the edge and I couldn't land it. When he does his melee attack, make sure you shoulder charge, and there you go. And I managed to get the Black Talon, which I've never had before, so that was a good that was a good drop from that. And that's the run, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. For all the new new subscribers that have that have joined us in the past couple of weeks, welcome. It's great to have you guys. As I say, I've done a corrupted. I've done a hollowed layer. This week, I've also put up the how to beat the time trail in the ascendant challenge with the lower location as well so check that out as well thanks a lot for watching the video hope you enjoyed it and i will see you guys in the next one